producing these chips, it's the new gold, the new oil, it's the brains that's fueling artificial intelligence. Okay, go ahead. And the first part of artificial intelligence right now that's, that's thriving is the enterprise. Okay. And that's what we're seeing front and center. And so the enterprise, by that you mean, these are the companies, the public companies that are going to be using these chips within their companies to grow their relationship to AI. So explain to me Apple and AI. What is Apple doing as it relates to AI? So up to this week, AI was all about enterprise. Godfather of AI, Jensen, NVIDIA, Microsoft, Google, all about companies. Okay. Companies spending toward the enterprise. Okay. Consumer, there was really nothing. You had chat GPT, right. but 25% of the world, what do they use? Apple devices. Right. Apple, and we were there at WWDC when yeah, Apple that launched. WWDC? So, so, so that's Apple's developer conference okay. where they, every year in Apple Park, they release the newest and greatest technology right. for developers as well as for consumers. They go embedded in the iPhone. They embed it in the iPhone, they embed it in the software. In the software. And okay. this really gives developers as well as consumers the ability to access whatever Apple is going to introduce to this year. Some years, it's interesting, but not groundbreaking. Right. This was a historical moment in for, Cupertino. For, for Apple, as it relates to AI and as it relates to NVIDIA. Exactly, because ultimately the consumer piece was missing. Right. Now Apple. So Apple, sorry to interrupt you, but Apple is the bridge between NVIDIA and the chips and the consumer. Is that what I'm talking about? Couldn't That's have it. Said, okay. Couldn't have said it's it better. It's the bridge. And, and it's the bridge that most consumers, they will access AI through an Apple device. Right. But Apple introducing their Apple intelligence, I view it as a top three historical moment for Apple. Right. And the reason you see that stock continuing to move higher. Closing now, yesterday at record highs. And up again another three, four percent right. today is because now investors are starting to realize, okay, you have Nvidia, you have Microsoft, you have, that's all enterprise. Right. Now, how do you play consumer? Right. Front and center, it's gonna go through Cupertino and, and, and ultimately what Tim Cook is bringing out with, I believe, what, what the latest iPhone. So Cupertino is where Apple is. Oh, okay. It's so funny because my phone, I had, my, uh, it's, uh, for some weird reason, I don't know if I was on a trip out west or I was in Colorado skiing, but for some reason, whenever I go to my clock on my phone, it says Cupertino. And I'm not a very tech savvy guy, but I always think like, where is it, who is it, and what is it? Now I know what Cupertino is all about. I love that. So besides, so, Think about this, Apple, some believe the greatest tech company in the world, right? Obviously, it's not easy to be really batting on, uh, batting on, uh, hitting it out of the park every year, year after year, yet Apple's been pretty close to do that. And you just mentioned it, some years it's a little bit lackluster, but this year it is basically incorporating AI, offering AI up to the customer, using what, look, we are all familiar with the Apple phone. Right? And one of the things I always talk about to the young people when they ask me what stocks to buy and I talk to them about investing in stocks and not stuff. And curiously enough, Tony Robbins is starting to use my line because I've been just saying, I learned it from a guy on the floor. Investing in stocks and not stuff basically yep. means if my iPhone 14 is not broken, okay, but the iPhone 15 came out. Why don't I have that psychology, that mindset that maybe I should, instead of buying the 15, throw a couple of dollars well, at Apple what you and said. buy the stock. So Apple now is breaking out. It is going, so there is Apple intelligence. And that is basically them using the products that NVIDIA makes, okay, and bringing it to the consumer. Well, what they're really doing, their partner, their main partnership they announced is OpenAI. So okay. ChatGPT, right. now those are gonna combine forces. So you have the open A, you have chat GPT now right. that's gonna be in iPhones that are produced in the software. So the average user for an iPhone, right. they don't have to sign up. It's all on there. It's gonna be basically an app, a chat GPT app in your phone. It's gonna be an AI brain. Right, inside your, in your phone. phone. Your phone is gonna know, hey Peter, normally you have coffee at 10 o'clock. Right. Do you wanna order coffee? Right. Hey Peter, later this afternoon, that meeting, you might so need it's not going to be tour. something I go out to reach out into and engage. It's going to be basically, it's going to be part of me. And short the, and of putting a chip in my brain. Short of putting a chip in your brain. Right. It's essentially a brain that's going to be formed by whoever the owner right. is. 
It's going to understand the pictures and you is want. Is it going to evolve with me? It evo- That's it start- a- picture. It starts off as a five-year-old kid version of me. A year later, right? It's a twenty-year-old. Wow. Year and a half, it's a sixty-seven-year-old. So the intelligence is dog all- years. It all in dog. It's yeah. all. It's all data-driven. Right. And that's why me and you always talk about AI revolution. Right. For most that watch or most investors, they've heard about it and they've invested in NVIDIA and and obviously what we're seeing in tech. But what Apple showed, remember, Apple has 2.2 billion iOS devices. Right. 1.5 billion iPhones. Now that they're bringing Four billion people in the world? Now, because- Almost 50% of the world owns an iPhone? And ultimately, this is really the start of what's gonna now be the AI revolution coming to the consumer. Okay, so imagine that. So you're basically, that bridge, is, and it's an important word to use that bridge because as, as tech savvy as most of the majority of the population is, this is going to really add so much to it. It's gonna connect you in a way. And look, I mean, is that, that, that may put people on edge a little bit. That it's almost like, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Click with, with Adam Sandler, of where he has a remote control and Christopher Walken that starts to think like him. And when he fast forwards a business meeting, then it starts doing it for him. I mean, are we at any kind of a level? Will we always maintain, uh, uh, not anonymity, but uh, what's the word? Are we gonna always maintain the, the ability to control our lives, even though we've got all this existential stuff going on? Because ultimately the control, you could opt in, opt out. Right. So, so, and that's also why within Apple, right. probably the biggest lockbox privacy ecosystem, right. them coming out with this, and that's why you even saw a delayed reaction in the stock. Right. That first stock was down when they came out, and now it's just been on a tear, because now investors are starting to realize this fourth industrial revolution, right. it's playing out right in front of us. And it's not just about the godfather of AI, Jensen, and NVIDIA. It's about the rest of tech. In a dovish, what I view a dovish overall environment where the Fed's next move, regardless of September, October, it's, it's going to be, be a, cut. a cut. And that's why I say this party, it's 9 p.m. in the AI party right. that's going to 4 a.m. Okay, so, I, look at that, that's groundbreaking. People need to understand when we deal with innovation. Right? Sometimes we feel like it's way far off and we can't really relate to it. And it's not that exciting for us. But what Dan is really basically saying, we're gonna be living the Jetsons, not the Jensen life, but the Jetson life. Go out there and Google it. It was a cartoon that went on when he and I were kids. I'm a little older than him, but it was about robots and, 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 and it was it was great. When we watched it as children, we thought how crazy would this ever be? But it is literally, we are at the brink of this being a big part of our lives. Besides Apple, who are the other players in the game? Well, led by Godfather of AI, Jensen. Uh, besides Nvidia, NVIDIA, not but, enterprise, and then but retail, the consumer, retail, consumer end. That's where Meta, Google, Apple, gaming, right. apps, we're now talking about a whole, the Robloxes, we're, we're talking about a whole nother avenue right. that's now gonna start to access this. Okay. So when you think about AI, me and you've always talked about the first derivative, right? Second, third, fourth. Right, right. We're now starting to see second derivative play out, right. and what that means for stocks, it's just going to be jet fuel for this tech route. Who are the smaller names in the game? And I know I can't mention it, but you can. Who are some of the smaller mid-cap, small-cap stocks that are going to be second and third derivatives of the AI play? I've, names if like, you can mention it, names like Palantir, right? Would be a good really? example. Okay. Names like Soundhound, okay. Small, S O N, S O U N, S O U N. Disclaimer, disclaimer. Names like Pegasystems. Okay. These are some of the names. Remember, we're just talking about a small piece right. of what now is going to be a tidal wave of spend right. coming to the rest of. Now, time. how does we're talking about interest rate cuts, right? We know that the tech sector has absolutely. You know, the the tech sector was dealing with zero interest rates for the longest time. And a big part of what fueled the growth in tech was interest zero money lend for the longest time. Then we had the inflation, we had COVID, we had the raise up to 8% inflation, 5% on interest rates. Now we're starting to cut them. How much of this higher for longer environment is going to affect what's happening? Look, the Fed is going to toe the line, but ultimately, 
CPI, PPI, it's inflation's rolling off. Right. Okay. So in you my believe that. so in my view, right, we could argue when the Fed cuts is it September, October, the next 12, 15 months, you're gonna have five, six cuts. You're seeing it across the world in Europe and, right. and obviously from a cut perspective. That's true. Note that everyone that this week we saw the first cut in five years in interest rates in Europe. Now, whatever's happening politically in Europe, we're not going to talk about. But economically, they are very often the forefront of what's going on. And there will surely be pressure put on our Fed by what's happening in Europe. So the cuts are starting to happen. Right. You combine that with growth that continues to accelerate. And unless you have a telescope here or in your office right. next to your cool uh, desk, you can't find the recession. And I think that scenario is a Goldilocks scenario mm. for what I view as a bull market right. where we're going to be looking at S&P and we're going to miss, we're going to start talking about S&P hats. Right, right, right. Peter I'm printing them up with a six, with in a front six of it. on them. I love it. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got to wrap this up, but we're talking about AI. We're talking about a revolution. We're talking about second and third derivatives in the space. We're talking about enterprise. We're talking about retail and the consumer. At the end of the day, we are on a fast track for AI to be big, a biggest part of our lives. It's happening now. It's obviously happening in NVIDIA. The stock went from 108 to 900 to 1200 after the earnings to a 10 for one split, trading at 120 bucks. Apple, second derivative. Enterprise, trading at record highs yesterday. We're gonna start seeing it in our lives. It's gonna wake us up in the morning. Be careful, because you never know when that iPhone is gonna become more important to you, to your wife, to your partner than you are. So I'm here with the greatest, the finest, the most important tech analyst in the world. We just met with Iggy Azalea, absolutely off the charts, launched that was her awesome. coin. Check that out, it's called Mother. It's got utility behind it. They're linking up with a mobile phone unit service. This world is just, this is our oyster. We're giving you a breakdown. We're making this whole thing that happens in here, 150, 250 years of history, accessible to the everyday Joe and Mary on the floor. We got wonderful people out here in front of us. I'm here with my man, Dan. We are gonna partner up with Mrs. Alia and try and take this to the next level. AI to the moon, you the man. Our sneakers are coming out next week. Oh yeah, those next things are gonna be triple us, We're gonna be dripped out to the max. I love you all. Einstein to Wall Street, trade like Einstein. Money News Network, and that's all I gotta say about that.